number two, what is the total mass of hydrogen in each of the molecules? And then we have letter B. So in this case, we have to find the total mass of hydrogen in CHCl3. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to write this out a little bit bigger. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's center it a little bit. All right. The first thing we got to do, right, they want us to find the total mass of hydrogen. We got to figure out out of these elements, which one is hydrogen? Now this is kind of knowing your elements, all right? You guys should memorize some elements. You're probably going to see the same elements over and over and over again. Hydrogen is definitely one of them. Hydrogen, H, capital H. So I'm looking at this guy right here. Let me just highlight it. Okay. Now, in order to find the total mass, you just got to do two things. The first thing is you got to find out how many hydrogens are in this compound. Well, you see how there's like a subscript here? This three tells us that there's three chlorines. Cl is chlorine. But however, there's no number right next to the H. If there's no number, it's a secret one. You have one hydrogen. That's how many total hydrogens you have in your compound. You have one hydrogen. And the same thing goes for the, car uh, the carbon. You have one carbon. Now, all you're going to do is you're just going to multiply that one by the mass found on the periodic table of hydrogen. But usually on the periodic table, they're going to give you two numbers, right? Which one do you multiply it by? Well, there's an atomic number and there's a mass number. The mass number is always the bigger one of the two numbers. The atomic number is the, the, uh, the, just like the single number, one, two, three, four, five, right? Not any decimals, no decimals. This slightly larger, it's the mass number. I'm just going to say it's the atomic mass. Now, this number can have two units. It could have the unit of AMU or it could have the unit of gram per mole. Since they didn't say, right, they just said the total mass, I'm going to go with atomic mass unit. AMU is the smallest unit of mass on the atomic level, things that we can't see with the naked eye. So I'm just going to take this number and times it by how many hydrogens I have. Now just know that this number might be different on your periodic table. The atomic masses can slightly vary depending on uh, what periodic table you use. But regardless, all we're doing is we're taking one and we're timesing by that number. So in this case, you know, anything times by one is the same number. So that's the total mass of the hydrogen, 1.008 AMU. And that's it. Guys, what do you think? Hopefully this helped. Hopefully this was easy. Let me know in the comments. I really hope I'm helping you guys out. And yeah, any feedback is, is, is good feedback to me. So just let me know. All right. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to, and that would help us out. Thank you so much for that. And I'll be seeing you in the next lessons. All right. Have a great day. Keep studying hard. You got this. Bye-bye.